Salut, comment allez-vous? So, we're going to go a bit deeper today on the subject of tu. Uh, last time, remember, we learned a few things about tu, things that we will typically learn in the traditional French class. But this time, I'm going to show you a few things that most teachers will not tell you about tu. One of them is this. Um, do you know that all verbs that you will conjugate with to will always take an S at the end, regardless of the tense. Whether you conjugate a verb in the present tense, in the future tense, in uh, the um, imparfait, in the uh, passé simple, etc., etc., you will have to put an S at the end of the verb. This is the typical mark of to when it is used with a verb. Okay? Uh, second thing you should know about tu that most teachers will not tell you is this. Well, you see, tu, when it precedes a vowel, will always remain tu. It will not change. I'm saying this because many students know this already, that je turns into J apostrophe, J apostrophe, when it precedes a vowel or a science H. So they wrongly assume that this is the case for tu as well. So if I say j'arrive, they will also write something like this in the essays. They will say t'arrive. Well, this won't be right. This won't be correct. True, you can use it in a very... Um, Casual spoken French. Yes. We saw that in the previous video. You could say t'arrive, but be careful using this with someone that you barely know or someone that even you know or in the writing, uh, um, uh, context because the T apostrophe here is very, very casual. The tu will never change. Tu arrive will be correct. So use tu at all costs anywhere at any time to be sure that you don't make any mistake. So tu plus vowel stays the same. There is no t apostrophe whatsoever. Okay. Uh, number three, tu. One thing that we learn when we learn tu is that tu is used for friends or people of the same age, for colleagues, for family members. So tu is very, uh, informal, right? It's informal. Well, guess what? you will find to used as a formal address. So if you talk to God, you say God, you, in many prayers, you will find to used to address Dieu, which is God. If you address a king, a person of authority, you will also use to. You'll find to sometimes, many times as actually, uh, used as a way to address the king. This goes against, it's kind of a, it's counter, it's, it's, it goes against what you have previously learned about tu, because you learned that tu was, uh, something used for, um, something that was informal, your friend, someone that you know, someone that you're familiar with. But here you have tu used with, um, as a way to address someone formally in a very formal way. So keep this in mind. All right. And number four, tu can be used as an impersonal or an indefinite subject. And tu, in that case, will mean we or people in general. Um, I give an example. If I tell you, um, if I tell you as an example, um, tu ne sais jamais rien quand tu es ivre. Well, this means you never know anything when you're drunk. Uh, you never know anything, nothing, when you are drunk. Ivre. Well, when someone says something like this, it doesn't mean you, in front of me, don't know anything when you're drunk. Um, I'm saying people don't know anything or we don't know anything. It's impersonal. People don't know anything when they're drunk. Or we don't know anything when we're drunk. So, this two here is, has for equivalent 
all actually, which we'll see later. So it means people, it means we, and it's impersonal. So these are the few things that you would not typically get in a typical French classroom. And I wanted to take the time to share this with you. And I hope you find it useful. And I will see you very, very soon for another lesson. Okay. Merci beaucoup. And if you have questions, don't hesitate to call me or no, call me. Don't hesitate to email me or to um, contact me through, through my Facebook page. Merci beaucoup et je vous dis à très bientôt. Bye bye.